All right, today uh, we have a very articulate waveform here produced by a duck. Our first challenge is always to loop the duck. Okay, so he does go a little bit off grid here a couple times, as you can see, but you can't really blame him. He's a duck, but that's where we come in. As professional audio engineers and duck connoisseurs, we can fix this problem. Let's go ahead and see if that loops. All right, we got a loop. Every time I get a loop, I feel like a NASA rocket scientist, you know, when they're in there, they're in their big like NASA rooms and the rocket actually flies into space and they get, everyone gets up and they're just like, and they, they all start high-fiving each other. They're like, yeah, yeah. I get that same rush when I take a sample of a duck playing the bongos and get it to loop perfectly at 105 beats per minute. I'm a duck. <laughs> I like to think if ducks could speak or any animal for that matter, they wouldn't say like normal sentences. They'd just be like, hey, I'm a duck. I'm a duck. I'm walking over here. I wonder how many people hear me speak and they're like, dude, shut the f up. How about instead of trying to articulate complex patterns here, we just pitch it down. Okay, that's kind of cool. Who would have thought? The pitch down duck bongo, actually kind of cool. Okay, see how this sounds. So basically what I'm doing is just kind of reducing the slaps from the duck here. See, I like that better. No shade to the duck, but I just kind of want to, I kind of want to switch things up here a little bit. <laughs> I love that. Uh, I'm feeling a little duck roll right here before this one. That's kind of cool. All right, we need, we need a sick bass line. Do I go 808 or do I do, do artificial, uh, artificially created sub bass? AI sub bass. Okay, that actually just gave me an idea. Could you make an AI sub bass? This is, this is like a concept all on its own. Theoretically, if I were to make a AI synthesized 808 sub bass, who would do it? WWE maybe? Stone Cold Steve Austin? If I made Stone Cold Steve Austin say, <laughs> and then maybe like a skip it back, Boom. <laughs> See how this sounds. From that man. Yo, Steve, you good? From that man. That H is kind of kind of hearty. What if I just extended the H and then went like boom. Boom boom. Boom 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 boom. From that man. Boom 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 bap. How do you type out what a sub bass sounds like? Maybe mmm. <laughs> Oh, Star Wars, dude, Darth Vader would probably make a great one. Mm. Okay, I was gonna say, I think Darth Vader just maybe sharded a little bit, but then I made the connection that sharding and 808 subs do kind of have common characteristics. Darth Vader has his pants, and we're gonna try and turn that into a sub base. Why? I don't know. You know, sometimes it's like, oh, this could be funny to put a little hidden Easter egg into your song that like, oh, no one's going to know that this exists except for me. And it'll be like, you know, it'll be my little secret. But you don't do that with like a main element of, uh, of a song such as, you know, sub bass. That's a pretty driving crucial factor in any production. So if you start doing that, chances are you might not get the results you want. But then again, what do I know? I'm an idiot. Okay, that's pretty loud. Come on, Darth. It doesn't actually sound terrible. I don't know why we did this. Why the f did we do this? Mm. I kind of like it slightly detuned. So I feel like this could be cool with the... Uh... Actually, no, no, I don't think it needs vocals. It doesn't need anything. But it does need like some, some filler womps. Quack? Ooh, I, that's actually a good idea. Hold up. Can we find Donald samples? Is that a thing? 
Donald Duck one shots. I'm not gonna lie, Donald Duck's voice is kind of like, it's pretty hard to listen to. <laughs> Compare that to like a normal duck. Okay, that's that's the meme duck. I want like an actual duck. Here we go. This, this, this. I might just have to use that one. Oh, that's a good one. See, compare that to this. <laughs> okay, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> Actually, you know what? Now I think about it, maybe we could do... I'll probably put this one in too. I could do like variations, you know? <laughs> need like two more. Two more duck sound effects. How many duck sound effects could there possibly be like recorded in the world? I think there's only two. You guys, I think that's what ducks actually sound like. How about this? What the f was that? Duck sound in high quality eight years ago. Yo, motherfuckers, eight years ago, we're putting YouTube intros for a duck video. I, look, I have to show you. What is this? <laughs> And now it's just gonna be like <laughs> I'm taking a coffee break. It's time for a self ad, sort of. Self ad. Attention gamers. Eliminate now has his very own skin in the game, Paladins. Play as Eliminate with his trusty sidekick, Walter the Cat. Cat, cat, cat. Placed neatly in this little backpack. Look how f cute. The skin is available now in collaboration with Night Mode and Paladins. Imagine if I called myself Nathan Beats. I call myself Nathan Beats and I'm just making the rinky dinkiest sounding Sounds to make dogs stop barking? It's like, sounds to make a dog stop barking and the sound is like, Hey dog! Shut the f*** up! Hey guys, check out this insane sound design here. Are these all different duck calls? Okay, we need one more. We're trying to assemble like the four ducks of the apocalypse. I have three. This duck's a little more artificial. This is like a man blowing into like one of those duck things. I think if you, if you A, B this next to like an actual duck call, you'd be able to easily tell the difference. Like this is not, this is not, this is not from nature. Oh, that's a good one. I know we originally were gonna stick with four ducks. I think maybe this section of the song could be like the DLC. This is the paid paid content right here. Potentially could introduce a fifth duck, take the duck, have it follow the pattern of the bongos. So then it's almost like the original duck that was slapping the bongos starts like singing. <laughs> the duck is dead. Damn it. Should be an Aflac commercial? Dude, you just gave me an idea. That's like, uh, that's a whole nother duck. The Aflac duck. Aflac. I got an idea. All right, we're gonna take this. Aflac.
All right. Thoughts. Should I start a uh, tally for how many times we're going to hear that duck? I should call it the quack counter. That's cooler. I, I'm already, I'm giving up on the quack counter. I don't, I'm not going to do this. There. Chill beats to sleep and study too. I like that. Dude, I did not know ducks were this chill. That is atrocious. Wheel of the day. Is that you? Did you use Darth Vader's humming as a sub bass too? Okay, somebody translate. The duck is a dangerous beast. It eats flesh and feeds on our surface. The duck is a dangerous beast. Yeah. Hey, you gotta watch out for those things, dude. <laughs> Things that happened in real life. Don't pay attention to my hairline. Drop that shit on it. I gotta do it. Drop that. Oh, it's 
two in a row. Shit, you duck. <laughs> what is this like a, a horror movie trailer? <laughs> Choose your character. Is the goose okay? No, that goose is dead, dude. I think this might be the best like use of the duck bongos in like a percussion sense that we've heard today. We make on my butt, I 